Hi, I'm doing just little intros for my advent. I've got a couple of intros to do, and then obviously I've got other bits to do with it as well. I'm just taking my tinsels in place then. I felt thought it was falling off by the feel of it. I've actually shut the cat out today because I think it's this that she is trying to get because she doesn't normally bother me, but she was running up and down behind me while I was doing some of the videos because I think it's because of the tinsel. But anyway, we're going to move on. I'm just checking my numbers here because we're going to be moving on to number six so we've got a nice squidgy piece of yarn in there uh, as you know i can't really tell you what the projects are at this point because i don't know till i get in the yarn but obviously on the thumbnail you will have seen what they are so we're going to go top down and open this one and look forward to this one because i've got some ideas of what i might like to do no saying that's what i'll do but we will wait and see, see what colours I do actually get from the yarn. So I'll see you in a second. Top down for that one. So here we go with yarn number six. And let's have a look at it. I know it's going to be beautiful yarn because everything has been so far. But I don't know the colours. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, we've got another. Oh, no, it's, I was thought it was peachy at first. It's not. I'm not quite sure how the light's picking it up there. It's more of a pink hue. Again, I know these have all got sort of a glitter sort of effect through because that was an option I chose. But this one's sort of a very delicate. We have pinks. We have creams. It is absolutely... Can you see that glitter there? You can just see it shining a little bit. I just wondering whether to bring my light down a little bit. So bear with me a second. I don't think it makes it particularly brighter but it might pick out the sparkle a little bit more that's all so this is going to be my next project of course as you know I need to wind it up before I can actually do it uh, so I've got a couple of those to do by the time I've done the intros so I will be coming back with you you'll see on the thumbnail what we're doing I'm very tempted it's very pretty isn't it I do want to do a doll bag there was like a, a little bag I wanted to do so this might actually be this one I don't know I can't promise you that so I'm going to move on to my next one so I can sort of do the videos back to back a little bit and then uh, I'm going to sort of get some projects made and then we can have a look at them and hopefully it's something you will want to make yourself so I'll see you all very soon bye bye for now so here is my yarn number six. Now, I know you can see some chocolates here. So you, you've already seen what I'm going to be making on the thumbnail. And this was the gorgeous pink that I have now rolled up. And it's going to be a little bag. Now, for me, obviously, that means doll bag, doesn't it? But I thought they would make quite nice little bags to pop some little chocolates in. Because these are so cheap to pick up. I mean, I think it's like a pound for a bag of them. In fact, I've got like a full bag here. I've got a bag there. Um, so they are really cheap to get. Sweet little thing to pop on the tree. Plus, it's like a little gift bag at the same time. So I'm going to move them to one side. I do have my little stitch marker because I do need it for this one. I have a three. Can you see that? Yeah, three millimeter crochet hook. Don't forget I'm working in UK terms. Now, if you want to make this bag bigger, you can use a double knit yarn, a larger hook. You could go up and up and up in size, but using the same pattern. The whole point of these, as I've said before, if they're quick, they're simple. They're just, just little bits of nonsense, really. And you can do them in any yarns then. Now, my prototype I did was this one because I always sort of have a little practice of ideas. So you can see we have some popcorn stitches here. Absolutely love that stitch. So that is what we're going to roughly do. But we need more than one of those, don't we, to make a bag. So it's nice and quick. I'm just looking for my yarn bowl. It's there. It's full of yarn, which it shouldn't be, but <laughs> it's not very helpful. I'll put it to that side so it doesn't create too much of a shadow. You can see my notebook there as well. You may not make too much of a mess. Where am I going with this? There it'll go. Right, so I need to start with my slip knot, of course. These would look great. You could do them in lots of festive colours. You could have red ones, green ones, uh, silver ones, gold ones. Like I said, you can do it in any yarn or thread you want. It's just the design. Right, that was my number six. We don't need that now. So let's get going. We're going to start with six chains. So we have one, two, three, four, five and six. And we're going to join that with a slip stitch into our first chain, creating a little loop. There you go. I just like to tighten that bit because I don't want to end up going in the wrong bit. Now we're going to start with three chain. A bit of a shadow going off there, isn't there? Two and three. I just can't find a good part of the day to actually do anything. The shadow, wherever 
and you can see how it's sort of landing but because of the light outside and that in fact bear with me i think i'm just gonna have a fiddle with the light see if i can get a better without shadow let's see how that goes i think i've got it better now it's just like i say you are wanting extra light but then you put an extra light and then it makes it shadowy yeah it's just yeah, I'm not so great on the technical side of that. Right, so we've done our three chain and we have this little hole in the middle little where the little loop was created. And into there we need to do four more trebles. So yarn round into the hole, pull it through, pull it through. That's one, two, three, and one more and four so because the chain does count as our first treble we've actually got the equivalent to five trebles there i'm taking my hook out leave a nice loop there for a moment i'm going into the top of my first three chain i am grabbing my loop i'm just going to tighten that up a little bit now because i don't want it to be loose and i'm going to pull the loop through the top of that chain pull it tight and make two chain one and two that is our first little popcorn stitch we are now going to do five treble popcorns your first one's classed as a four treble popcorn because of that three chain but from now on they're going to be five treble popcorns and we need five of those with the two chain between so here we go so we've got five trebles so here's one two three oh nearly pulled it over then four and five we're going to take it out of that one we go into the top of the first of the five trebles in there so making sure you get in both bits grab the loop tighten it up first and we're going to pull it through two chain one so this wool is so soft right you might think you're not going to get all five in there but just keep pushing them around and you will do so five trebles one two three four and five take the hook out into the top of the first of those five grab the loop tighten it up oh and don't drop it like i've just done oh dear it's tight there. i'm gonna have to move that ball i moved it because of the shadow but it's pulling in the wrong direction so uh, i'm so conscious that the ball's going to drop out there we go two chain one and two so we now have three so you can see we've got these three little things here so five trebles one two three four and five take it out don't drop it this time top of the first of those five tighten that chain and pull it through two chain one and two right so we have four now so we need six in total because obviously i said we're doing five five treble popcorns and then the first one wasn't it? so we need six little little sort of petals almost aren't they in total so we have one that didn't work there we go that's two trebles that's three trebles that's four and number five and again taking it out into the top of the first of that five pulling it tight and pulling it through two chain so you see what I think it looks quite sweet i just love this stitch anyway i've used it for so many different things but i just think it's a really cool stitch and it gives that a nice bit of texture so we need another set which we can squeeze in i know it might not look and if you're a bit worried just try and push it around a bit you can see there's a bit of a space then can't you so five trebles one two three four and one more there really isn't a lot to this bag there's two sides of course that's one thing we have to sort out we've got the five so take it out top of the first one make it tight so it won't fall off again and pull it through two chain now we're going to slip stitch join into the back here you know where it pulled it together 
that is where we actually want to go into so i don't know whether you can see that properly i'm just trying to look in the camera to make sure you can see it it's a hard one to see it's just in there yeah and we're just going to do a slip stitch join just a slip stitch now we've got these two chains in between each of those petals and into each of those two chain we're going to do four double crochets so i'm going to do a chain first because it's a little bit of a stretch over and then this is the first one which is between the two petals we're going to do four double crochets one two three it might feel like a lot but we're not going in the petals remember jumping over the petal into the next two chain space and four double crochets one two three and four jump over into the next one four double crochets one two three and four jump over four i nearly said trebles then and then four double crochets that's three that's four jump over four double crochets one two three and oh nearly went in the wrong bit then um four we have our last little combination of fours we jump over into that final set of two chain we have one we have two three and four now i'm not going to bother slip stitch joining because we're going to actually be doing a double crochet round anyway but we do need a little bit of an increase because otherwise it's going to curl round and we don't want it to curl round. But we are still staying with double crochets. I'm just taking the hook out because I'm going to pop this in now. OK, if you're a nice quiet room, you probably don't need a stitch marker. But because I'm going to be talking as well, I don't want to lose track of where I am because we're going to be doing a combination of two stitches in one, one stitch in the next one. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Now, we should have 40 stitches there if we've done it right. So that means you're going to be doing that combination 20 times to give us 60 stitches. OK, I hope my maths worked out right there. I was a bit unsure when I was working it out yesterday. I'm like, does that make sense? But yes, it does. Right. So I'm not going to slip stitch giant. I'm just going to go straight in to that first double crochet from the last round. So we're going to do two double crochets in our first one one in our second so i'm not going to count how many sets i'm doing i'm just going to use the stitch marker so that is my first set so i'm just going to do a two i'm going to do a one i'm going to do a two and a one and we're just going to keep doing that all the way around a two And a one. Off we go. Like I say, I'm not going to count them. I'm just going to rely on my stitch marker to sort of uh, guide me on this. But if you don't want to be precise, you do need to be doing it 20 times. We're already halfway round anyway. So two. And a one. So we have two. And a one. Can you see how it's starting to flatten out to give us a base for that sort of little, I'll call it a little flower. We're over halfway now, so two, and one. Two, and one, we're almost there, two. and one and i am there now i know the stitch marker sort of sits a little bit weird but i know that i started from this one so i know i'm okay for that we're now going to do just one double crochet in every single one that's it just one double crochet nothing more complicated than that it's just sort of like the final round to sort of smooth off when you do an increase round and that is it that will be it for one side but obviously you're going to need two of these which what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the camera, which you won't really see it as a pause. I'm going to quickly make another one of these because I should have done that before I started the video. That would have made much more sense. But uh, 
been somewhat disorganised recently. So I can't, still can't get over how soft this wool is. I think this is the softest one. It's so soft, it's sort of falling out of my fingers because my hands are cold. Um, the grip isn't great. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately, it's not really that bad. Just that we're not used to cold weather. Um, it is quite cold here at the moment. Very frosty. I mean, I'm looking out the window now and it is all white over. There's a little bit of remainder snow from last week, but we've not really had snow properly. Um, most of it has been frost, but it has been quite a thick frost. So it does look quite pretty, but it is very cold. Right, are we there? Nearly a couple more to go. And I'm just going to finish off with a slip stitch because I always do. I just feel the slip stitch just makes it a little bit smoother at the end there. So that is our first shape. So we now need two of these to complete our little bag. So I'm going to pause you there and I will be back half a second with another side. Ta-da! As if by magic, we now have two. They really don't take long to do. Now, if you're more organised than me, I would now recommend you sew in all your ends. But because I'm going to just be showing you what I'm doing, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll do it after because I want to take some photographs, obviously, because I'm going to show it on the Christmas tree and with a doll. So basically, you can easily work out which is the right side. So basically, you need the two. I said basically so many times then. You need the two wrong sides together. Now, obviously, you need a little opening for whatever chocolate or whatever item you wish to pop in there oh nearly dropped it then so if i sort of look mm, i need sort of about there don't i so uh, i'm going to hold that together and i'm going to pick up at one point and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through both side stitches and can you see i'm picking up sort of can you see that clear enough all sort of four sections of the two stitches there so I'm going to pull my yarn back into play and I'm going to pull that through first I'm going to do a chain then I'm going to go back in with a double crochet because I want to anchor that nice and tightly and what I'm going to do hopefully I have lined up my stitches perfectly I've got exactly the same amount of stitches fingers crossed it does happen sometimes so you do have to make sure you are fitting it in nicely and I'm basically going to do a double crochet these both together all the way around to about there I think so let's get going this is like I say if you were more organized than me you would have uh, tidied away any sort of loose ends which make it a little bit easier to do or you can crochet the ends in, that's the other way. So if you've not actually uh, stitched them in, you could crochet them in, which I might do as I get to it. I don't think it will get in the way of your viewing. So like I said, that's an end there. In fact, no, I'm just going to show it through. <laughs> I'm going to be lazy for now. I will sew them in. I have to sew them in, otherwise I won't be able to use them, will I? Now that is where I did the slip stitch, and it's always a little tricky to get in. So make sure that's tight again. I don't want a loose stitch there. And off we go. When it's lined up and it's just sort of stitch to stitch, it's really easy. But sometimes, sort of, as I say, you get a slip stitch or something like that, because I like to finish off with them, then they're not so easy. So I'm just double crocheting all the way around. That's just my other loose end. Hopefully you won't have that, so you don't need to worry about it. I'm trying to make sure I stay on camera here, because I seem to have got the camera a little bit over to one side. Now, as far as the handle is concerned on this, I am going to be crocheting it, but you could use a little piece of ribbon, some pretty sort of chain. You can sort of, if it's going to be a decoration particularly, you can pop all sorts on it just to sort of give it that little bit of extra sparkle. You could do it in two colours. You could do the sort of the flower section. You could maybe do that in a red, like a poinsettia, and then do the rest in a green the background that would look really nice actually <laughs> i might have a go at doing that um obviously i'm doing it in these colors because these are the colors that i'm opening up um, from my yarn advent 
and this is quite a cute colour I thought this would be quite nice for the dolls more than anything else but yeah I think that would work you could do it like a baby poinsettia little red flower with the sort of like the green edging right I'm almost there I've got to decide now a little bit more is that enough let's have a look yeah, that's enough to get our chocolate in, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is, because I've got my loose ends, I'm going to tuck them in so they're not sort of getting in the way. Let's pop them down a bit. So it makes it easy, harder for me later, but it doesn't matter. I just need it to be clear for you to be able to see. So we've gone all the way around, yes? So a little bag either side. Oh, if I can't pick it up, there we are. So I'm now going to do a chain. Now this chain is entirely up to, entirely, I'm making words up as well today, entirely up to you how long you make it. If you know it's going on a doll, it wants to go over a shoulder, you need quite a long chain. If it's just hanging on the tree, you might want a little short chain. I'm going to do quite a short one, because even for the doll, it could be a handbag rather than sort of a shoulder bag or something like that. So let's have a look how many chains I'm going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, oh, no, nearly lost number 11 there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think I'm going to go for 20. As I say, if that was going to be a shoulder bag for a doll, I think you would need double that. But if it's just a little sort of thing to hang on the tree or a little handbag for the doll or a shopping bag, more than a handbag, isn't it really? I'm now going to go in that first double crochet where I crochet them together and I'm going to do a slip stitch. And I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to fasten it off and I'm going to say that's that. So let's pull that through. That obviously needs to be sewn in and you have your tiny little bag i'm actually going to undo the strap and make it longer because i want it for the doll but let's have a look so we've got a little chocolate Ta -da! so you could just hang little chocolates all over your tree if you're wanting it as a tree decoration i think it's quite cute or as i say it can make a really cute little doll bag just a little bit of fun or a little gift bag or something like that so that's it for my day number six that i'm so behind off i'm actually going to be doing six seven and eight back to back here uh, as i mentioned before it's a good job it's only 12 days because we are on day what we are we're on 17 or when we're 18 i don't even know what day i'm on it's getting like that at the moment so that is it for today hope you enjoyed it if you do enjoy my videos please like subscribe share click on the notification bell etc etc there's going to be lots of different bits and bobs coming i've got a gorgeous christmas eve box from attic spin die for the yarn so uh, excited to show you that one so that's obviously coming up but a uh, couple of more of these to do and i've got some dolly videos and everything else so hope to see you soon hope you're getting on with all your christmas preparations and bye bye for now